We're right now in the kitchen celebrating a spooky Halloween with Chef Jamil from Michael's on East. And what are we making today? So today we're going to do some nice pen sear scallops, some uh, butternut squash per blanc, some Ooh. That's uh, nothing, there's nothing seed. spooky about that. Oh, we got uh, the pumpkin seed. Well, you That's see when you good. get pumpkin seed yeah. and you get the pumpkin oil, then you're going to get a little spooky. Right? That's pumpkin oil? Uh, this is a uh, treat. I didn't know no, no, pumpkin's had oil. Right here. Oh, this Ooh. is pumpkin oil. This is a oil. beautiful pumpkin oil. No, the key of scallops is um, they have a natural salt. Now, basically, at Michael's, we never put salt on the scallops, oh. and that gives it mm. a nice, sweet, salty flavor. And you want to make sure when you buy scallop, you get the nice, dry scallops. You see how big ones these are? Mm -hmm. and is that because they shrink when you cook? No, not necessarily. Basically, they get seared nicely. This the, so the, the ones that would shrink is the one with a lot of water. Oh. Uh, because those ones, uh, they not have so fresh. much, you know, well, they're fresh, but some of them are just not too, and uh, they don't, uh, what do you call that? Um, they, don't, they, they start shrinking and they get very tough. Oh. This, uh, this uh, we call it a U10 scallop or U8, uh, the big scallop. So you cook, and it's one of the scallops you want to cook like uh, medium. It's good for sushi. It's good for um, for uh, for ceviche. So it's one of the best things that you do right here. So if you can see right here, your pan has to be very, very hot. Mm. Key of steering the scallop. If you put a pan that is uh, very uh, low, and then the scallop's gonna start boiling instead of searing. Oh. Yeah. And then you want to give it a nice flavor. Oh. Uh, no, right. wonderful. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. So you can see they shrink a little bit, but not much. But you can stir that. Right here, we already add the butter. It's like a little bit blanc. We took the butternut squash. Um, and then we made like a, almost like a bis style. And then once we add the bis, we just throw some butter in there. And a little bit of vinegar so it can bring you that little uh, tart flavor and a like an over blanc. But it's actually a beautiful um, uh, sweet sauce. And, and it's you gonna said be toasted butternut squash. Uh -huh. the, that sounds delicious. So you take the butternut squash, you peel it, toast it in the uh, on the oven with no oil, nothing, just toast it, and then you put it back in the uh, and then you cook it. You don't want to give any color though. You just want to get a little toasted, but about 300 degrees and about uh, 20 minutes, and then take it out that you make the bisque out of that, and then right at the end you just whisk the butter. So and you how can give long you do you do the scallop for? The scallop, if you can it see how beautiful uh, the turn color very quick. But well, once they turn color on both sides, are they done? It depends how you like your scallops. Some people like them well done. done. Well done. Um, yes. I like them medium <laughs> rare because it gives you that creamy flavor, especially ah. when you have like a sauce like this. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to have you uh, put the sauce in there. You? Oh, you're very uh, artistic, Bobad. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now take that take the like little right here pen and just wiggle. Just like make it? a little side like that. From here, you're going to take this and then you're going to drag it like that. Ah. There you go. Ah, oh, there you go. Not all the way, but it's okay. There beautiful. you go. Now the scallop right now, like about nice medium rare as you can see here. And you know, it's cool that Selby Garden is, is here because we just did a renovation of the, uh, the ballroom oh, yeah. and I know the cafe. Are they? Uh, are they they're close finished. to opening? They were done. Oh, we're finished. Oh, uh, it's wow. beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the scallops in nice and medium red right now. That's the way I like them. Some people like them well, well done, but we're going to just, you can just put them anywhere you want by the sauce right here. Well, scallops are really easy to cook at home. Yeah. I mean, that didn't take any press. No, it didn't so. need press anything. Just, you know, like I said, make sure your saute pan is nice and... Um, and make sure you buy high quality. Right, yeah. and high, high quality. How do you know? What did you say again was well, high you quality? Well, you call, you call it a dry scallop, like a U10 dry or a U12. A U10 dry scallop. U means U12, 12, 12 means 12 to a pound. Oh. Okay. So that's basically what a lot of people so like. So the bigger the better. The bigger the better. The bigger the better. So Dolly thinks that as well. <laughs> <laughs> the bigger the better. So right here is the pumpkin oil, which you see is nice, beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's an organic. This one you actually can buy it right here on Whole Foods. This is where I got this one from. Mm. And it gives oh, you pretty. gives you a lot of, of flavor. What are we and doing with the pumpkin seeds? So you're going to put the pumpkin seeds on top? And All right. As finish Jamil here finishes with, plating, I want to bring Mike from Selby Gardens back. A pretty. very talented pumpkin artist and, of course, now partnering with Michael's on East for some great treats at Selby, so we're excited about that. We have lots of ghosts and goblins floating around the studio in here. Our on, favorite Karen. person, Karen, is uh, very into the Halloween spirit, and it's been a little unnerving to look out there and see her throughout the show. So we've had a great time celebrating Halloween with you, Joey. Wonderful ideas, Ooh. the creative brain yes. behind much of Suncoast View. So everybody and be safe our outfit. and happy throughout the weekend. We will get Joey back for this. Take some time and enjoy the Suncoast View.